Karen with karenscookies.net and I'm going to show you how to make candy clay. If you're one who likes to use rolled fondant on your decorated cookies, this might be a good alternative for you. I prefer it for the flavor and texture and I also prefer it for the cost and the ease in making it at myself at home. What all you need is some chocolate and some corn syrup. Um, you can use any grade of chocolate from the super cheap to the super expensive. The more expensive you get, the higher grade that you get, uh, the more difficult it is to work with. Sometimes the cocoa butter tends to want to separate out a little bit. It's not impossible, but it does um, have kind of a learning curve. I prefer to go somewhere in the middle. This is a good um, brand. It's Merkins, and these are their candy coat wafers. And it comes in a 16 ounce bag. You, can, you need anywhere from 10 to 16 ounces. I prefer about 10 to 11 ounces in mine. And so I'm just going to eyeball it. It doesn't take rocket science here to figure this out. So I have a double boiler and I prefer to use a double boiler to melt the chocolate. You can use a microwave but it tends to seize up if you get it too hot. So I prefer a double boiler over low heat on the stove. And I'm going to pour in about 10, 11 ounces here. So that'll just leave a little bit in the bottom of my bag. That's about right there. And if you don't have a double boiler, you can just put some water in the bottom of a pan and put a heat proof bowl in there that would fit um, either metal or glass. But since I have a double boiler, I'm going to go ahead and use mine. I'm just going to set it in there and you'll need a third of a cup of corn syrup um, waiting for you. But at this point we're just going to melt the chocolate and I'm going to put it on low heat on my stove top and I'll come back in a minute and show you what that looks like when it's all the way melted. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and our chocolate is nice and smooth and melted with no lumps. So we're ready to make the candy clay. Now what you'll want to do is have a piece of saran wrap handy and a third cup of corn syrup to add to the chocolate. Now what happens when you add liquid to chocolate is that it will seize up and that just means that it will harden, um, which normally you don't want with chocolate. You want to keep liquid as far away from chocolate as you can. But since we want to form a dough, that's exactly what we want to happen is for it to harden up. And so what we're going to do is add the third cup of corn syrup all at once into the chocolate. Go ahead and scrape it out and get it all in there. And then you'll just start stirring. You want to stir that kind of vigorously, get it all worked in there. And you'll see that it'll start to seize up and form a dough. It'll get harder to stir and it'll start cleaning the sides of the, the pan. You see how it's formed a soft dough there? So once it's all incorporated and forming that nice dough, you want to take it out of the pan and if there's any water on the bottom of your pan, you want to wipe it off and go ahead and dump that onto your saran wrap and flatten it out a little bit just so that it'll kind of harden evenly. We'll go ahead and wrap that up in the saran wrap. And if you're in a hurry to use this, you can put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. You see that's really floppy and soft. Um, but you can also just leave it at room temperature for about eight hours to overnight. Um, and then it'll be ready for you to use. And this is what it looks like when it's done. It's kind of a hard slab and you'll be able to break off chunks of that and soften it up and use it like you would fondant or clay. Oh, it's gonna take my off. Hi, I'm Karen with Karen'sCookies.net and I'm gonna show you today how to make candy clay. If you're one who likes to use rolled fondant on your cookies, I'm starting over.